for your for your for your guidance. Mr. Speaker, this withdrawal of meal allowance comes against the backdrop of salaries of civil servants not being increased. Eight months, some post workers not paid. Eleven, twelve months, national housing authority workers not paid. Council workers not paid. Some of the children who are going to the university are children of people from those categories. Where do you expect them to find the money to finance the stay of their, their children? Yet we know that some categories of people in Zambia, their children are abroad, 100% sponsored by government. This deception must come to an end. This deception must come to an end, uh, Mr. Speaker. We have in this country a situation now where the majority of, or a good number of students at the University of Zambia, like me, are children of farmers. Farmers who have not been paid on time after delivering to FRA. Mr. Speaker, farmers who have been given a ludicrous maize floor price. Something that doesn't tolerate with the cost of production. Farmers now being used as laborers to produce cheap maize in order that there should be how, you know, national food security in order to maintain security balance, in, national security balance in the nation at the expense of farmers. <clears throat> Yet the decision makers are comfortable. A group of failures failing to manage Honorable a country. Honorable member for Choma, you are not supposed to debate your colleagues. You know that very well. I don't know why you're having difficulty in keeping personalities out of your debate. <laughs> hmm? I don't know what's the difficulty. <laughs> this is a policy issue. <laughs> it's a policy issue. Policy issue. Continue. Thank you, Mr. Speaker, for your guidance. The point I'm trying to advance sir, is that the University of Zambia, Copper Beot University, these are institutions that were created and predicated on a foundation of service with excellence. To be able to develop the country through human resource predicated upon the cream de la cream those who are admitted at the University of Zambia, based on their brains and not how much their parents have. This is what we are saying. What type of a country do you want us to have if those who can excel intellectually cannot make it because they don't have money? Bad government, bad decisions. 2021, you are out, just like Sesheke has given a signal. Mr. Speaker, how can you withdraw meal allowance from students when, on the other hand, you are constructing targets for $4.3 million? $4.3 million target when you are failing to avail funds for students. Mr. Speaker, fire tenders for $42 million, $273 million digital migration, the most expensive in the region. Ambulances, Mr. Speaker. Sora hammer mills that have become obsolete, just planted along roadside, just for a show that this government is working, yet it's a failed government. Mr. Speaker, flying into Sesheke, four helicopters, yet the person who is supposed to be in Sesheke is the president of the Republic of Zambia, one president, four helicopters, flying musicians to go and play discotheque music ahead of a presidential address in Sesheke, and you lose. 
you go and begin to dish out. Honorable member for Choma, you, you've diverted from the motion. You want to end up? Mr. Speaker, under a, the, a watchful government, corruption, purchase of a jet, $167 million, when in actual sense the actual price is $68 million. Taking about 24, 25 people flying from Zambia to go to the United States of America to go and receive four second-hand fire tenders whose value is less than 10% the cost of going to America. Yeah. Then you withdraw me your allowance. Then you say we're listening, government. Yeah. Which listening? Listening to what? <laughs> listening to who? Whether you like it or not, 2021, out. Mr. Speaker, we've had a situation in this country where education has been treated as a cost. How can you explain, Mr. Speaker, that in the last few years, in the last few years, the government of the Republic of Zambia has been sponsoring at least 200, uh, at least 2,500 students on BC or Bursary at the university, and drastically you reduce it to 700. What a shame. In advanced democracies where morality is a pedestal to lean on to justify your leadership, we would have had, had many people resign for failure to perform. We now have a situation where corrupt people are being led to continue to hold office. We now have an unpredictable country, Mr. Speaker, Honorable where natural... member for Choma, what has that got to do with the meal allowance? Because when resources sir, are being corruptly abused, you, the country cannot save to be able to send students to university and other colleges. Yeah. We cannot continue on this trajectory. And this house should not be in, in conspiracy with aiding and defending corrupt people and its government. Time has come for us to be able to stand on the right side of history. Those students who are there at the university, I'm aware that even the 700 who have been admitted on government sponsorship but without meal allowance, more than or about 50% have actually gone back home. The university has now left open registration up to 31st March, you were my lecturer, sir. When did you see such kind of malaise happen? This is unacceptable, and we must all stand up against this. We cannot continue when people are doing something that is bad. We must say this is bad so that together we save this country from the mismanagement and maladministration of a bad government of failures. PF, I thank you, sir.